everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Michelle and this is my channel Lila Cottage Crafts and on here I like to talk about a lot of the crafty things I've been doing recently which recently hasn't been a lot <laughs> um, but I, I have been um, not able to do some things recently because I've been having a lot of trouble with my hand um, and I'm also having a lot of trouble with my back and my knee and I know Back and knees not necessarily going to affect crocheting, but sitting, it, it does affect, and I've been in a lot of pain and stuff. So I haven't been doing a lot of crocheting, so I've been missing for a while. But I thought I would come on because I've been doing some crocheting things. I thought because it's coming up to, and it, it has actually just been Halloween, I was actually going to make this video a couple of days ago before Halloween. But unfortunately, the time I had planned to make my video, my husband's car broke down and I had to start faffing about with things to do with taking in places and sorting out people to fix the car and everything. So it's late. I'm very sorry. Um, but there is, you've probably spotted behind me in the background things that I've made anyway. So I'm going to start with something that isn't necessarily Halloweeny, but you could make it Halloweeny if you wanted to. And this is one of the things that Cassandra on um, Craftably Ever After channel absolutely loves making, and it's the loaf cat. So I have made a ginger loaf cat. I wanted to make a black loaf cat for Halloween, but I didn't get the chance. But here is mine, and I've given him green eyes, as you can see. They're nice sparkly green eyes. So I'm calling him Ginger. <laughs> and it's a him. I've decided it is a him. Um, I'm just going to have to go... Oh, My dog's not happy about something. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's up with him. Just give me a moment. So the loaf cat pattern is really easy. Um, I got it off Etsy. I'll try and remember to put it in the... The thing below if you have not uh, seen it yet you can do lots of different kinds of loaf cats um, you can do ones with patches on them like on the eye and different things I just decided to do like I say a bog standard um, I can't remember the name of I know which yarn it is but I can't remember the name of the yarn that I've used for this um, it's one that I get from my local craft shop um, if I remember, I'll, I'll pop it up on the, on the bottom of the screen. But yeah, so that is Ginger, the cat. I really love him. And you could have him for Halloween. I was going to say Easter then. Get my holidays confused. <laughs> you could have him for Halloween if you wanted. And like I say, I wanted to do a black one. And unfortunately, I didn't get the time. But there he is. He's gorgeous. I love him. And I definitely will have a go at making him again in some different colours, different blanket yarns and stuff. I'm sure I have um, a, a goddaughter who I think will love this cat. So, so that's him. And now I'm going to start getting the things from the back. So I'll um, I'll be stopping and starting the video whilst I get them because you don't want to be you don't want to be seeing the backside of me getting them off off the windowsill. So I won't be a minute. So my first Halloweeny autumn, some more autumn than Halloween makes was these beautiful, beautiful. Um, pumpkins in the sort of granny style, granny square style. I used, um, oh, I've forgotten the name of the yarn that I used now. Um, what yarn did I use? I think it was Red Heart yarn for these, one of the multi-changing ones, but I can't remember the name of it. I shall find it out and put it on the video. This is the smaller one that I think I did that one first, I think. And then I made that one and then I've put a cinnamon stick in the top of them and then you can put what you can put whatever you want on the top of it. I just bought some um, um, ribbon that's got a bit of that stuff in it. That, yeah, um, no, not yarn. Uh, wire that makes it twist a bit. So there we go. So, so yeah, I really love that. I think this is the same colour as what um, Cassandra from Craftably Ever After um, did as well. But I'd already bought the yarn for making them before she put her video out with them on. And I thought, oh, 
that's what I've used for mine. But I love the way they turn out and they're nice and weighted because I I didn't I didn't put um rice. She put, I think she puts rice in hers on the, by the way, I forgot to say, so I'm so excited about them, that this is a tutorial that is on YouTube for free and you can also buy the pattern. I bought the pattern uh, and I also watched the tutorial as well um, by, I think it's MJ, I don't know if it's MJ Crafts or MJ Makes, something, I'll put the uh, name of her on the screen and in, in the instru instructions, show notes, whatever you want to call them below, but I really love these, they're really nice, and that cinnamon stick still got a bit of a cinnamony smell to it, so yes, there is three different sizes in total, but I've only done these two, um, because I only needed two, really. I might make another one next year to go with them. We'll see. So that's them. Next, I made this little guy who is just so cute. Don't know why I did that funny voice. <laughs> I love him. Um, I got him off Etsy. I've had the pattern, I think, since last year. And again, I was just in the middle of starting to make him when I saw, I think it was Cindy on the Roomy Mill made him as well. And uh, I thought, oh, see, we all, we're all just love the same things. That's, that's why we're all watch each other because we like the same sort of things. Um, I absolutely loved making him. He's very easy to make. I didn't put the... Um, on the actual pattern, there is a cobweb and a spider on him, but I didn't do that because I want him to not just be Halloweeny. I wanted him to be autumny as well, so I decided not to put that on him. I've called him Freddy because I think because of his hands, I think he looks a little bit Freddy Kruegerish, but in a nice way. Um, <laughs> his eyes, I had a little bit of an issue with getting the things for his eyes. Let me just uh, see if he'll come back in. Yeah. Um, I ordered the eyes um, on Amazon. Um, and I ordered the eyes that it said to get. And when they came, they were about the size of his pupil there. And I thought it was way too small. So then... I ordered, went to order, um, I think I ordered about a size five or six milli millimetre. Um, and they didn't, they were too small. So then I looked at ordering, I think it was a 10, but the 10, I, they didn't have any. So that, my dog's having a bit of a paddy, sorry. So then I got the 12 millimetre, which I think is fine actually, but um, yeah, so now I've got some really tiny eyes that I'm going to have to find how to use but I really love him and he's very sturdy as well I'm gonna to have to see what's wrong with my dog I won't be a minute so the next thing that I made is one of my favorite makes I think of all time I used a Hobie pattern um it was a free pattern uh I I am in the Hobie plus club um, so I don't know if it was a free pattern for me or if anybody can get it as a free pattern, I'm not sure. And it also, I used Hobie yarn for the first time. I used Hobie six, no, 8.6. And this is the little, um, I think they call it Fox Baby. Um, but I, I just call her the little fox girl. And this is the one that I made. She's a slightly different colour to the colours that they've used. I absolutely love her boots. I love those boots, they're gorgeous. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's the first time I've used Hobie yarn, like I say, and I used the rainbow cotton. And this was actually, I think, part of the cause of my hand ache, um, unfortunately. I am getting a little bit more used to using the rainbow cotton and my hand is strengthening up to use it. But um, yes, she, she hurt my hand, but I'm not bothered because she's beautiful. So if you're like me and you struggle with cotton yarn, then just be wary of using the rainbow cotton because it is lovely. Lots of colours available. Um, very, very nice finish. As you can see, the stitch definition on it is gorgeous. And the pattern as well. The pattern was very easy to follow. If you have amigurumi experience, I think if you were a beginner, 
I, I mean, for, even for me, there was a few times I thought I wish there was a few more pictures on the pattern. But no, it was it was it was well it was quite well detailed. Um, but I do I love the boots. I want these boots myself. They're so cute, and her tail's gorgeous. So yeah, I did what I did change from the pattern as well is on the pattern they just did the tail in the one colour, and like the it's like a it's like a, a brownie burnt orange kind of colour that they use, and then they did the white, and then they just sort of stitched that colour of, uh, it was like, I think it's a brown or a, even a black on it. But I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do the stitches. And I did the same with the ears where they just did, I don't know if it was white on the top or just brown on the top, but I wanted it to be like the tail. So I added white and brown on it. I can't get her ruffles to ruffle like on the picture, but hey ho, she is who she is. <laughs> I absolutely adore her. I'm so glad I made her. She is lovely. My husband as well, it was so funny. My husband said to me, oh, how have you done the cheeks? And I said, oh, I've used pastels this time. I said, I normally use blusher. He went normally. And I said, yes, I quite often give them rosy cheeks and he hadn't noticed. So he got in a bit of trouble then for not noticing things. <laughs> but yeah, I think she's gorgeous. This next make is one from Cassandra that she is selling currently in her Etsy shop and maybe on Ravelry, I, I'm not too sure. Um, you actually get three patterns in this one. You get this one, which is the sort of Halloween cat. I th I'm sure she's got a name, but I can't remember it. Um, and you get a Christmas bear, which I'm currently in the middle of making. And you also get um, a bunny, which is probably for Easter. But yeah, so we've got this little lovely lady here, which is, she can be for autumn or for Halloween, whichever one you want. But there she is with her green eyes and her lovely pumpkin headband, which I'm very jealous of. I want one. <laughs> and her tail as well. It's got a lovely tail. Lovely pattern. I love the way the legs are made. Um, bit of a different way of making legs on this pattern I've never made legs like that before very easy um I would say the hardest bit is probably joining the legs together <laughs> the ruffles were really easy um and like I say I really love the pumpkin headband <laughs> and I did the um instead of doing the safety eyes I obviously did the uh, embroidery eyes and I think she is gorgeous <laughs> So thank you, Cassandra. And then we come to the last of my makes for Halloween and the last of the makes on this video. This is a make, um, it's a pattern that I bought off Etsy. I have seen, I think it was Crafty Clegg, if you follow her, do this one as well. Everybody just seems to be picking the same patterns as me this year. Again, I just think it's because they're great patterns and everybody likes them. And it is the Halloween Ghost person anything <laughs> I don't know what you call it um yes I absolutely love him or her I think this is a him uh there is three ghosts in the pattern this killed my hand and I was not using um cotton I was using yarn arts jeans which is a cotton and acrylic blend but for some reason the white um of this is a little bit more I'm going to say crispy crisp than the rest of everything <laughs> which sounds weird I don't know it felt a bit crispy when I was using it so and that's the thing that you do the most obviously stitching um crocheting on so that hurt my hand a lot <laughs> and I was like I ain't making one of these bad boys anytime soon <laughs> but uh oh and, and I had an issue with the shoes and it was me it was me not understanding the instructions very well when you came to do the bit where you went from the white to the orange, she mentioned something about putting the back loops from two previous rows in and I could not figure out what she meant. And I must have read the line of instructions about 50 times before. And I tried a few different things and thought that's not what she means. That's not, not what she means. And there's loads of pictures as well. And I could see on the picture how there was an orange 
piece on on the hook and then a white piece on the hook and I thought every time I put it in mine's not that way around mine's got the white at the front so I'm doing something wrong but I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong and eventually it clicked yeah eventually it clicked so stupid uh <laughs> So yeah, because you have to do it again with the hat. When I was doing the hat, you had to do it again with the hat. And I was so appreciative that I understood what I was doing by then. Um, and I just love it. It's so cute. I do want to do the others. There's a girl one with a bow. And the other one's got like a woolly hat. I think that might be the one that Crafty Clegg's done. I'm not sure. Uh, and they, I can't remember what their accessories are. I'm not sure if there's a cat as well that comes with the pattern. I kind of think that there is. But I do. I love it. And... Um, if I take, I can, you can take the hat off and if you take, I know this is letting the secret out, you might not, if, if you want to look away and don't want to know what's underneath, look away now. <laughs> I mean, you could always put a face on it if you wanted to, but then it's not got arms, has it? But that's up to you. But yeah, that is what's underneath. So that's what you make on the underneath. And then that's all sewn on. I, I made the eyes with, um just some um felt you could have it like that if you wanted you could just leave it like that and then his hat goes on like so and i just love it i just think oh keep your hat on love keep your hat on there we go that's that's it thank you i love him i think he's so cute and that's it that's everything that i've made recently i've got a couple of things on the go like i say i'm making the bear the christmas bear from the pattern with with this little tiny thing in here um, and also I'm hoping fingers crossed to get in something nautical this month for the nautical November that um Cassandra Lee so it's Cassandra from Crafty Blair after Lee from Lee Mac um and I don't know the lady's name but the lady from Cro G is it Ginger Ginger Cat Crochet, I think that's her name. <laughs> I don't know her actual name, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, those three are doing a nautical uh, themed November. And that I have seen a couple of things I would like to do for it. But whether or not I will be able to, it all depends on how well I feel. And um, husband's cars, I'm pointing because it's part behind, it's on the, out on the road here now blooming thing uh husband's car playing up so having to sort of run him around he's i've had, just had to drop him off at a wine bar coffee bar thing in, in the next town up uh, to meet one of his friends i'm hoping that uh he gets a lift back but we'll see <laughs> that sounds awful doesn't it i hope he gets a lift back just to save my knee i my knee is so painful when i drive it's i just literally spend the most of the journey screaming and I've got an automatic as well because of my back issues I have an automatic but my word I'm screaming with pain I'm on the list for physio but if you live in the UK and you know what it's like at the moment with NHS waiting lists it could be forever and I just don't have the money currently to pay private I wish I did. If I did, I'd be straight in there, but I unfortunately don't because the dog's been very sick and cost us a lot of money at the vets. So, um, yeah, <laughs> all my money, everything I had saved up has gone on. He's down there now. That's why I'm pointing over there. He's licking his paw. Uh, if you're wondering what he wanted earlier in the video, there was a bone that he'd had last night that had some treats in it that he didn't eat. And for some reason, he decided... As soon as I started making the video that he wanted the bone because the bone was near where all my light and, and equipment for my camera is. So because it brought his attention to it, the bone being there, he wanted it. Because <laughs> he's a dog. And that's what they do. They always know what's going to irritate you the most. <laughs> but I love him. He's gorgeous. You've not seen him on camera for a bit. I'm not filming at the moment, he's licking his paw, it doesn't look very good. I'll put a picture up. I might even put a video in of him. We've been away to Lincoln recently. We've been to Lincoln Cathedral, which was very nice. So I might put a few 
few pictures in from there for you just to keep up with what we're up to but please take care hopefully it's not going to be a while now before my next video just depends how much I get done in the next couple of weeks it won't be next week I'll promise you that um, and thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon see ya bye